to shut up and listen to the people who are actually experiencing things. Just, just, just be quiet and listen while the adults talk. If there's one thing you should know about me by now, it's that I do not respond well to being shut down. Recently, there was a stir when BBC Books, an imprint of Penguin Random House, decided to strike Gareth Roberts from an upcoming Doctor Who anthology following pressure from fellow contributors. This is primarily because of a series of quite blatantly transphobic tweets. And by transphobic, I mean literally denying the existence of trans people. To all those crying freedom of speech, I remind you that freedom of speech is not freedom from consequences. Sure, some may argue that expressing an opinion, however backwards it may be, should not affect one's livelihood, but there are certain occupations where public persona matters. If Roberts was working in a factory or in retail somewhere, he'd just be a sad loser raving in the corner. But he chose to become a freelance writer, meaning his colleagues are other freelance writers who can quite rightly choose to have their work not be associated with him. No one is stopping Roberts from continuing to deny that a group of people in society exists, but when you say dumb shit on the internet, you have to face the repercussions. And to BBC Books' credit, they still paid him for his contribution. He was not fired, as some are saying. Again, he's a freelance writer, so I don't know how that would even work. Examining more closely, it's interesting how he claims to reject restrictive cultural gender stereotypes. The best way I can explain this is that he views transgenderism as something tantamount to gender nonconformity, where those who do not conform to cultural stereotypes, girls who like machine guns, boys who like pink, etc., are pressured to change their identity. Hence why he appears to suggest transgenderism reinforces these stereotypes. Stereotypes. I actually put out a video not long ago on the problem of transphobia in internet communities and one of the more perplexing responses I got was people making out that I believe everyone deserves respect and rights by default, completely missing the point that gender identity has nothing to do with respect whatsoever. I believe the confusion here again stems from the fundamental misunderstanding shared by Roberts that a trans woman is just a man who woke up one morning and thought, hey, I'm feeling girly today, I'm going to ask everyone to call call me she, her, or vice versa. It is an easy mistake to make, perhaps, but as Mr. Tardis Reviews suggests, there is really no excuse for such ignorance in this day and age. Bigotry isn't something you're born with, it is learned, and it is also pretty easy to unlearn if you're motivated to be educated. That's the main takeaway I want people to have with this video. With Gareth Roberts saying, I don't believe in gender identity, it is impossible for a person to change their biological sex, I don't believe anybody is born in the wrong body, he is speaking against science. It's the medical equivalent of saying you don't believe the Earth is round. See, in the year 2019, the science has been done. We know gender dysphoria is something very real. It is a fact, not a lifestyle choice. Among those who took offence to my previous video was Patchwork Heart, who even went on a live stream to bitch at me passive-aggressively. You know, like any grown adult would do. They told me I need to listen more, which might have been good advice, except that they spend most of the stream going on in coherent rambles that have nothing to do with any of the arguments actually presented. No, I'm, for, I'm familiar like, with I, the like, I, 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 Okay, sure, there are, there are some women who pretend to be men and men who pretend to be women, okay, so what? Yeah, have you seen Mulan? Juno like, wasn't a drag queen, she was doing it to scam people. Right. One of the few intelligible points Patchwork does manage to make is that I should have included more sources. This is precisely the kind of criticism I'd expect from someone who's desperate to come across as smart but doesn't know how to be, since any idiot can stick a load of links underneath their essay and pretend like that makes what they are saying any more intelligent. Coming from an academic background myself, it's hardly something I need reminding of. What Patchwork misses is that I've never made any new claims about the science or nature of being transgender that would need to be backed up other than than what should already go without saying. See, I have basic expectations of viewers who come to my channel, and if you come to me asking for citations for this stuff, then my response to you is get educated. We have already had these discussions, and we are well past them now. For those like Gareth Roberts who are still struggling, I'll leave some useful links in the description for you. But the best education is always real life. So get outside into the real world. Make friends with trans individuals. See what they have to say. You might find it becomes much harder to stay ignorant. Yeah.